Whew. Enemas. No good. Y'all ever gotten an enema? Yikes. Let me just tell you, not good. All right. Speaking of not good, the Secret Service, abbreviated SS, either fortunately or unfortunately, depending on your persuasion. Well, what the fuck? Secret Service text messages around Jan 6 were erased, Inspector General says. The disclosure drew concern from the House Committee investigating the attack, which has her testimony that President Donald J. Trump, a.k.a. the Orange Man, a.k.a. the guy that lost the 2020 election, a.k.a. reminder Joe Biden won the 2020 election, reminder Donald Trump is a loser, he lost the election, also wanted agents to take him to the Capitol that day. Text messages sent and received by Secret Service agents around the time of the Jan 6 attack on the Capitol last year have been erased. Isn't that insane? Isn't that fucking crazy? First of all, you can't erase text messages. It's just not possible. Like, let's just, we gotta be honest here. You cannot erase a text message. It is impossible. Unless it's like some ultra encrypted application that they're using, right? And even if that's the case, it's impossible. You cannot erase a text message. Now, I know that in uh, in Washington, they have all the, like, these, these this BlackBerry network and stuff. I guarantee you, this shit is backed up somewhere. 100%. I guarantee it. There's a 0% chance that you can convince me that there were, that though these text messages only existed on the phones. Like, I'm sorry. I just, nah, nah. I don't buy this. This is fucked up. I don't buy it. I don't buy this. I just don't. I just don't buy it. Uh, an inspector general said on Thursday, prom prom prompting concern from the House Committee investigating the assault. In a letter obtained by the New York Times, the inspector general for the Department of Homeland Security, the parent agency of the Secret Service, reported that many of the agents' texts were erased as part of a device replacement program, even after the inspector general had requested them as part of his inquiry. Oh, sorry, I took my phone to the shop. Sorry, it was my L button fell out. So I just, we all, like all of our L buttons, I think Ronnie's R button just fell out. And so we had to go take it to the shop and then, oh shit, they accidentally just factory reset our phones. Fuck. You expect me to buy this fucking shit? Seriously? You expect me to believe this fucking garbage? I swear to fucking God, by the way, off topic from this... If, if any of you motherfuckers are talking about astrology in my fucking chat room, I swear to fucking God, I'm going to whip out the ban hammer. Okay, I'm just throwing this out there. This astrology bullshit, I don't give a fuck what month you were born in. Whoa, what's your sign? Your sign is nothing. There are no signs, you religious fucking freaks. Okay, get the fuck out here with your stupid fucking garbage. All right, anyway, back to the article. The letter was reported earlier by The Intercept. Representative Benny Thompson, a.k.a. Benny Thompson, a Democrat of Mississippi and chairman of both the Jan 6 Committee and House Homeland Security Committee, said he received a letter on Thursday from the Inspector General informing him of the erased text messages. It's concerning, Mr. Thompson said in an interview. It's important for us to get as much information about how this discrepancy occurred. In a statement, the Secret Service disputed parts of the Inspector General's findings, saying that it lost data on some phones as part of a pre planned three-month system migration in January 2021. Oh, really? Interesting. But maintaining that no texts pertinent to the inquiry had been lost in the migration. Interesting. The agency said the project was underway before it received notice from the Inspector General to preserve its data and that it did not maliciously delete text messages. I'm sorry. Um... First of all, I don't believe what the Secret Service is saying. I, second of all, I don't believe that they're actually gone forever. They're backed up somewhere on some server somewhere. It's that simple. But uh, anyway, uh, that's the news. They're deleting shit. Isn't that interesting? Huh. Like, oh, right, there's an insurrection, and it just so happens that a 48-hour period, gone. Rip. Yeah, I doubt it. There's a lot of stink on this story. There's a lot of stink on this story. 
I'm not buying any of this garbage. And again, I'd reckon that if the Democrats on the House knew anything about anything, they would be calling this bluff and they'd be saying, we know that that shit's backed up somewhere. Because if you don't know that that shit's backed up somewhere, you're a fucking moron. Let's be honest. You shouldn't be in charge of like shit like the NSA if you don't know about fucking text backups. Like Jesus fucking Christ. But anyway, I'm calling bullshit on all of that.